Hi class, how are you today? Oh, oh, I'm I'm really really sorry. Uh, oh, uh, let's let's move on. All right. So the learning target for today is to solve multi-step equations using the properties of equality. So we just did two-step equations. Now we're going to deal with multi-step equations. All right, so first I'm going to go over the steps of how to solve a multi-step equation. The first step is to eliminate any fractions that you have in your equation. And we'll talk more about that, but the way to do that is to multiply everything by the denominator of the fraction, or a number that all of the denominators can multiply into. The next step is to use the distributive property. So if there's any parentheses anywhere in the problem, use the distributive property to get rid of them. The next step is to combine like terms, and that's on each side of the equal sign. So you look on each side of the equal sign, start with the left side, and see are there any like terms that you can combine there, and then go to the other side, the right side, and see if there's any like terms you can combine there. The next step is if you have variables on both sides of the equal sign, you have to bring the variables to the other side. And you'll do that by doing the opposite. So if it's a positive variable, you'll end up subtracting it. If it's a negative variable, you'll end up adding it. After step four, you should be down to a two-step equation. And then you do the steps that we did last time. So remember, the first step in a two-step equation is to undo the addition or subtraction. And we do that by doing the opposite. So if you're adding, you, you will subtract. If you're subtracting, you will add. And the final step is to undo multiplication or division. And again, you'll do that by doing the opposite. If you're multiplying, you'll divide. If you're dividing, you'll multiply. So write these steps down. These are good steps to have handy all the time when you're solving your equations, and just go down through these steps to solve the equation. Not all of these steps will be needed. So if you look at step one, it says eliminate fractions. If there are no fractions in the problem, you can skip that step. Second step is distributive property. If there are no parentheses in the problem, you can skip that step, and so on. A lot of these steps you may not even need in a multi-step equation. So we're going to start examples now, so make sure you have these steps written down and I'm going to refer to them. Alright, so here's our first problem. So in this problem, again, follow the steps we had. So remember the first step was to eliminate the fractions. Well, if you look here, there aren't any fractions anywhere. So like I said, you can skip that step. Second step is the distributive property. So we need to look to see if there are any parentheses. Yes, there are. Right here. So we need to use the distributive property there. So it's going to be 3 times x, which is 3x and 3 times 5, which is plus 15. So we did the distributive property there, and then drop everything else down. So minus 7 equals 5x plus 12 minus x. And then remember, we still have to write the property we used. The property we used there was the distributive property. And I'll abbreviate distributive property. The next step is to combine like terms. So let's look on each side of the equal sign. So on the left side, we have 3x plus 15 minus 7. So there's only one x, the 3x, so that stays 3x. Then we look at 15 minus 7. Well, they're both numbers, so those two can combine. 
So 15 minus 7 is 8. And if you end up with a positive number, then you should have a plus between these. If it becomes negative, it's just minus that number, the positive version of the number. So it's either plus the positive or minus the positive if it's a negative. Okay? So that's the left side. Now we need the right side. So on the right side, we have 5x plus 12 minus x. So we have two sets of x's, 5x and minus x. So even though they're not right next to each other, we can still combine them. So 5x minus x is 4x. And then the plus 12 is by itself, so it stays plus 12. And again, we write the property we used, and we just say combine like terms. Next, what we need to do is bring the variables to the same side. So if you look here, we have a 3x over here and a 4x over here. So we need the variables to be on the same side of the equal sign. So to do this, you need to look for the smallest variable. So here we have 3x, here we have 4x, which is smaller, 3x. So we want to subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. So again, let's rewrite this equation. So we're going to have 3x plus 8, and we want to subtract 3x from both sides. So minus 3x, and then on the right side, 4x plus 12, and minus 3x. So we subtracted 3x from both sides of the equation. And the property we used for that is the subtraction property of equality. Next, we need to finish this, so we need to combine like terms here. So that's going to give us on the left side, notice the 3x and minus 3x will just cancel each other out to leave just 8. So we have 8 on the left side, and on the right side, we need to combine like terms here. So we have 4x minus 3x, that will give us 1x, or just x, and plus 12 is by itself. And again, the property, combine like terms. And then the next step, and in this case the final one, is to undo the addition or subtraction. So we need to undo this addition here. So rewrite the equation. We have 8, and we need to undo this plus 12, so we're going to subtract 12 from both sides. And the same on the right. So we have plus 12, and we subtract 12. And the property for that, again, is the subtraction property of equality. So then, last step, 8 minus 12 is negative 4. And on the right side, the 12s cancel each other out to leave x.
So we get our answer is x equals negative 4. And our final step was combine like terms. All right, that's it for the first example. And remember, you can always go back and plug in negative 4 into the equation and make sure it works. So now we're going to go to the next example. All right, here's the next example. So in this example, we have fractions. So remember, I said the first step is to eliminate the fractions. So what we have to do is take the entire equation and multiply. And we have to look at all the denominators, the bottom numbers, in the equation. So the denominators we have are 4, 2, and 4. So we need to know what number can 4, 2, and 4 all multiply into. Well, 4 and 4 are the same number. And we know 4 times 1 is 4. So can 2 multiply into 4? Yes, 2 times 2 is 4. So both of these numbers can multiply into 4. So we're going to multiply the entire equation by 4. And the property we use for that is the multiplication property of equality. And I'll just abbreviate it to MPE, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And the reason the multiplication property of equality works here is because we're multiplying everything by 4, both sides of the equation. Now, since we're multiplying everything, we have to use the distributive property. So 4 times 3 fourths x, well, the 4's will just cancel here to leave just 3 x. 4 times negative 1 half, well, half of 4 is 2, so that'll be negative 2. Then 4 times 1 fourth x, 4 times a fourth is just 1, so 1x, one or just x, and then 4 times 6. A lot of people sometimes forget that they need to multiply the regular number by 4 as well, not just the fractions. So 4 times 6 is 24 and the property we used for that as I mentioned is the distributive property and just to have some short abbreviations DP distributive property next we're going to get the variables on the same side. So again, we looked for the smaller one. We have 3x and we have x. So x is smaller. So we need to subtract x from both sides of the equation. So we rewrite the equation, 3x minus 2, and then we subtract x. And same thing on the other side, x plus 24 and subtract x. So on the so that gives us the subtraction property of equality. And on the left side, we have 3x minus x, so that'll give us 2x, oh, not with the arrows, with my pen, 
2x, and then the minus 2 drops down, and on the right side, the x's cancel each other out to leave just 24, with black pen. Making a lot of errors in this video. Have fun. And that was combining like terms. Combining like terms. CLT. Next we need to undo that subtraction. So rewrite the equation 2x minus 2 and then undo the subtraction so we do the opposite and add 2. And that gives us 24 and we have to add 2 on the other side. So the property, the addition property of equality. And then we combine like terms and the 2's cancel out to leave just 2x. And that equals 24 plus 2 is 26. And again, that was combining like terms, CLT. I'll move down a little bit to give us a little bit more room. And then final step, undo the multiplication. So divide both sides by two. That's the division property of equality. And the 2's cancel to leave just x. And 26 divided by 2 is 13. Alright, that's it for this video. Once again, please remember to take notes over the entire video. And yes, I wait till the end of the video to say it. But I can, so I will. And please... Also remember to take a picture of your notes right now and submit them to me onto eBackpack. Have a good night.